what's up and welcome back to another vlog video situation today's video is going to be a prepping for my girls trip video so i'm doing a lot of things in this video well, i already did my nails but i'm getting i'm giving myself a pedicure getting my eyebrows fixed up getting my hair done all this good stuff um to prepare for a girl's trip i'm going on today is tuesday christmas is friday and i'm leaving on sunday so i need to do most of my stuff before christmas just because i'm gonna be overwhelmed with christmas in general and then i have one day between christmas and when i leave right now it is 4 13 and i need to be at my grandparents house for dinner at five so i don't have time to do much right now but i'm already out and i'm gonna stay out like i'm not gonna go home and then go back out so what i need to get is i need to get a gray pajama set ah uh, it's the mascara under my eyes from me ah uh, a disgrace a disgrace but i need to get a gray pajama set because it's a girl's trip for my friend's birthday and we're going to a cabin and she wants us all to have gray pajamas for the first night and i don't have a gray pajama set so i think i'm gonna quick run to walmart and see if i can get a gray pajama set but i also might want to get that at target so i might go after i go to dinner i don't know but we're gonna go somewhere right now so i'll take you along with me all right let's get it i got 15 minutes but I'm thoroughly confused because, like, first of all, there's so many boxes. I don't know what's going on. And I, everything is blocked off with these boxes. It's just, like, long, ugly pajamas. They almost swept me up. The people trying to get you to switch internet plans almost swept me up. I was like, um, my mom is in charge of that, so, um, not me. <laughs> now I'm going to the little beauty section because... I think I want to get my mom some last minute stocking stuffers, but again, this has nothing to do with the video. So I'm going to um, reconvene when I'm doing something related to this girl's trip. Okay, that was completely pointless. Completely pointless. Didn't get anything I needed. Okay, I'm back home. It is now 7.53. Um, so The Bachelorette comes on in seven minutes. So I'm gonna watch that. It's the finale. It's the freaking finale. So I'm gonna watch that. But I figured while I'm watching that I can do something productive to get me ready for my trip. So I'm going to do my toes. I'm not gonna really show up close. I'm gonna show like me doing it. But I'm not gonna show up close. Because nobody needs to see my feet like that. But they literally... Um, <laughs> the last time I did my toes, like, I can't even remember. The polish is no longer, actually, I got a pedicure, but this was literally, like, September. Freaking September. Like, they've grown out so much. I thought about doing acrylic on my big toe just to make it look fancy and try it out because I've never gotten acrylic on my toe before or done acrylic on my toe, but I, I'm going to play it safe this time and just do my regular shebang so i'm gonna do a little you know time lapse of me getting my dogs right <laughs> So now that my toes are done, um, it's time for me to take a shower and wash my hair and blow dry it because I'm getting my hair done tomorrow morning at 10. I'm not going to tell you what I'm getting done, even though it's going to be in the thumbnail, but I want it to be a surprise. But I am getting my hair done tomorrow morning at 10 because I hate going on trips. I don't even get my hair done for trips because... Like, yes, I want my hair to look good on the trip, but I get it done just so I don't have to bring all of my hair products with me to do my hair while I'm on a trip because then it's just like an overload of stuff to bring. So I'm going to go ahead and shower and do all that. Thank you. 
am now done blow drying my hair. This is as straight as it's gonna get and this is as straight as it needs to be. Um, I feel like my hair grew a ton. Like, I feel like when I cut it in the summer, like I feel like it wasn't all the way down here. And I kind of want to cut it again. So I'm probably just going to put it back in a ponytail or something and look dumb, but it doesn't matter because we're going to bed anyway. But I'm just gonna put it back and tie the scrunchie around it once so I look, I look like George Washington. I'm gonna take some melatonin so I can hopefully fall asleep and wake up to my alarm because what happens is when I'm too tired, I don't hear my alarm and then I sleep through it and I cannot sleep through my hair appointment. So I'm gonna set like 50 million alarms and I'm gonna cross my fingers. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning when I am on my way to get my hair done. Good morning. It is 9.04, so I'm gonna leave in like 10 minutes just so I can get there, park, and figure out where I'm going because last time I got lost, I was lost. Somehow wound up in a DMV, confused, stressed, late. I was there on time, but trying to figure out where her exact like room number was, late, stressed, because you know, now it's talking about something you get a five minute grace period and after that it's ten million dollars charged. I was stressed. It was my first time going to her, so like I didn't know, you know, how she was gonna be. Cause some people are like, oh it's fine, like I understand you got lost. Other people are like, No, you're 32 seconds late, give me your firstborn child. I kinda remember where it is, but I kinda just need to I need to give myself some time to figure out where it is. I'm forcing myself to eat breakfast. I hate breakfast. That's a lie. I like breakfast, just not at breakfast time. But I know if I don't eat now, I'm gonna be starving. I'm gonna be able to her doing my hair. I'll get food afterwards, but. All right, you guys, I am here. It is now 9.45, basically. Um, and my appointment's at 10. So I'm probably gonna sit here for two seconds and then go find the room because <laughs> I like looking at the building is giving me anxiety because I remember like panicking being lost because I could literally find every room number but hers like every room number in order and then hers was just not there so I'm gonna go in I'm probably not gonna vlog her doing my hair just because <laughs> I'm uncomfortable <laughs> I'm shy y'all she freaking did the dang thing y'all I'm truly in love with this hair and it goes they're so long i wanted them extra long y'all i'm so happy right now and that was so short like i knew it would be shorter than the last time but it is let me turn the car on it's literally 12 45 so that took two hours and 45 minutes that's nothing that's nothing and these look bomb as hell. All right, so I am, <laughs> first of all, first of all, get into it. Like, nobody is touching my girl, for real. But um, I ordered, right when she was like, putting the mousse on my head, I ordered Wingstop because I'm hungry. All right, I'm at Wingstop now. Hopefully my food is ready because last time I ordered, and I got it, it was like, I was sitting in there for ages. Oh my God, the lighting is just horrible. Why is my phone like, hello, hello? Let me take my ass inside. Okay, so they actually had my food. I literally just walked in and said my name and they had my food ready, which I mean, that's good. I hope it's new, I hope it's fresh. I hope they, I didn't I didn't get the leftovers, but why am I always trying to make something a mukbang? Like, why am I trying to sit here and eat the, my food as if y'all care? In case anyone does care what I get at Wingstop, I say that like I'm like a regular Wingstop eater. I just started going. So I get the, yeah, cold. I get the fries, but I get them with the regular fry seasoning and the Cajun seasoning and extra well done. And then I don't like wings. So I don't get actual wings, I get the tenders, and I get the Louisiana style rub thing on them. So I have all sorts of flavors. 
so yeah i'm gonna sit here and enjoy my meal and then i'm going to go to the beauty supply store there's one in this parking lot i believe over there so i'm gonna go to the beauty supply store if they don't have what i want they should though i just need to get a few things and then i also want to i should probably look that up now i want to try boba i don't want to i don't know why i want to try that today but i figure i'm already in the city all right i'm at the beauty supply store i'm about to go in and see what i can get because it's been forever y'all since i've been to the beauty supply store and it's really that this beauty supply store is right next to a food lion like i wish we had a beauty supply next to our food lion i could never it's the lighting for me because what the hell i'm talking about this is what i have the sweetie edge control and this is the actual size but i paid seven dollars for this plus shipping but this is eight dollars for this whole big thing like i'm really shook I really wanted to get the mousse from this brand but they don't have like the actual mousse so i'm gonna have to find another one i was just dumb all the mousses are up here they have it <laughs> dummy all right y'all that was probably the most successful beauty supply store session that i ever had so i'm gonna do a little mini haul when i get home but i don't i don't want to do it right now in this parking lot with this man sitting next to me in the car staring at me <laughs> So I'm going to pull away because I don't want to keep being stared at, but I'm going to look for a boba place. If I can't find a boba place, I'm going to go back home. I'm going to go to Target. I just need to get some things, but why won't it like focus on me? We're just going to try again later. Update, there's a boba place in this same parking lot. So I'm getting boba. I, I'm going to look up the menu because I've never gotten boba, so I don't know what I want to get. And I don't know. I don't want to walk in there and look stupid and not know what I'm asking for. It's literally like why everything I need is just in this parking lot today. So mm, let me not get hit. That would not be good. But the lighting is just pissing me off today. Let's actually park in the spot, Lexi. Let's not just be a dummy and park like you didn't pass your driver test all right so yeah i'm at the boba place i don't think it's specifically boba i just think they have boba because i literally looked up boba tea near me and it said 0.1 miles and it's in the exact same parking lot why didn't i just look around i don't know so i'm gonna look at the menu and i'm gonna do my taste test on camera while this literally has nothing to do with me getting ready for a girl's trip Okay, I literally didn't understand the menu whatsoever, so I'm just gonna go in and hope for the best. <laughs> that was so stressful. Okay, so I literally went up to the counter and I was, I feel like I look weird without hoops on, like my head, my head just looks odd. But this is my drink. Um, This is what she looks like if the sun would there we go this is what she looks like i literally went up to the counter i lied and i was like my friend told me to come here um but i don't know what i want lying so i basically just asked like what their most popular thing was or like what a lot of people like and she said the brown sugar tea with boba so that's what i got this is my first time why like why am i nervous okay let's see if let's see if you can okay if this gets all over wow that why, why did i like <laughs> like it was gonna be hella hard to do i've literally never had the closest thing i've had to boba is this drink at tgi fridays where it has like little things in the bottom i don't even know what it is but it has little like balls in the bottom let's see This is good. I don't know what the point of boba is. Once the drink is gone out of my mouth, no, he is fine. Once the drink is gone out of my mouth and it's just boba left, I don't taste anything. I thought they were supposed to taste like stuff. It's good though. So now 
I'm gonna go home or like back to where I live basically and get and go to Target and places around where I live so I don't have to keep using my GPS. On the way home I go, which is crazy because I thought I was gonna be rushing today because I could make an eyebrow appointment today. But I thought I was gonna be rushing because I thought my hair was gonna take until like three or something. But it's only two and I've already done like two things off my list. So make a pretty good time. So I'm in the parking lot with uh, Target and TJ Maxx, which is where I was gonna go. But um, forgot that it is, today is the day before Christmas Eve. And this parking lot is absolute hell during this time of the year. It take I remember last year, it took us an hour to get in the parking lot and an hour to get out. I don't know how I got in so fast. Then I got in and I was like, why are all these cars here just parked? Um, every Like all the exits are literally just backed up. So I'm not even going in the store. I can't bring myself to go in the store because I already have to like, I already have to pee. So I was going to try to make this a quick trip in and a quick trip out, but um, I've sat in a, I, I literally just drove in and I'm driving right back out, haven't stopped the car at all, haven't gotten off the main little road in the parking lot, and it's been 20 minutes, so, oh, I just cannot do with this, I cannot deal with this parking lot, I told myself I was not gonna come back this year at this time, because last year was horrible, um, so I'm going home, actually I'm going grocery shopping, because I have to get groceries, but I'm going home, so, see you at home. I wanted to give you guys a better look at my braids and what they look like. Excuse the mirror, I have to clean it today. Um, I literally dropped my toothbrush this morning when I was brushing my teeth and it splattered everywhere. But they're really long and I'm really happy with them. Like they just look so good, I think. And yeah, this is, you know, a new style for me, but period. All right, so I'm on my floor now. Let's do a mini haul. I have quite a few things to go through because I just got my Fashion Nova package, which I'm very surprised that it came this quick because usually they take forever. And I ordered on the 19th and today is the 23rd. So it literally took four days to get here. So first we're gonna go with Amazon. This is just one thing. I literally ordered it yesterday. I. I didn't know that like one day shipping for real meant one day shipping. Like I literally ordered this last night. I don't know how they do that. I truly don't know how they do that. But I saw this on TikTok. Um, I don't know why I got it. I'm gonna try it, I guess. But it's liquid chlorophyll. So, well, first of all, when I first saw her talk about this, I red chloroform like the stuff that like you like what what do you do like you put it on a cloth and you what is that you put it on a cloth and you can like knock somebody out with it or whatever you know the stuff they always have on the white cloth in movies and stuff but this is chlorophyll and this is basically the lady explaining it, it's basically what plants and like vegetables and stuff what what makes vegetables green like this is what makes vegetables green and it's like a natural cleanse and detoxifier and she said that she started taking this because um if you're someone who doesn't like get enough vegetables this is good for you and I don't I like I eat like two vegetables like I'll I'll, I'll eat some broccoli in a second but I don't eat broccoli every single day like I don't eat vegetables every single day and I don't like vegetable smoothies so some people like just take the little drops like this says the serving size is 15 drops some people just put 15 drops in their mouth she mixes it with water but she also said that it's like it helps your like your body smell less if that makes sense like it makes your breath smell better it makes your underarms not smell as much like and I was I thought that was cool like not that I'd be out here stinking like I wear deodorant but she said that it just makes everything just like because you're detoxified so you don't have as many toxins in you so I, it was a it was a it was a whim okay I bought it on a whim and I just thought I would try it I don't really know what I expect to get from it but now let's move on to a beauty supply store I literally got everything I have wanted to get for a while that I just can't get anywhere else because I need to go to a beauty supply store um, so I got this extra large um, shower cap. I got another super jumbo bonnet because mine, like the band is worn out. I've had it for like two years 
and it it doesn't even stay on my head anymore like halfway through the night it's back here because it doesn't even have any elastic i got an extra long why is everything like why did i get the big version of everything i got an extra long scarf um just so i can like tie my edges up i just wanted a new one because i use my pink one all the time but I wanted a black one, wanted a new one, whatever. I got this double-sided brush because these are what I use to like slick my hair into buns. I got another new brush, but those are the kind of brushes that I use to like scoop the gel out of like the Eco Styler container and put it on my head. And then I use this to slick it up. And one side is like kind of soft and then the other side is hard. And mine is just old and crusty and caked with hair. So... I've had it for like five years, so I just got a new one because it was $2.99. Then I got the mousse that I thought they didn't have and I was slow and I turned around and literally the whole top shelf was just full of mousses. Um, I wanted to try the, like it's still this brand, but it's the milk and honey mousse. I, went, I wanted to get them both, but then I was like, okay, have some self-restraint. Like this is just not like a little shopping spree. Like you're getting what you actually need. So I got this so I can um put it on my hair when it starts to get a little frizzy and like lay it down and stuff i got the luster's pink two-in-one scalp soother oil and sheen to also spray on my hair so like once i put the mousse i'll do my edges put the mousse on tie it up when i take the wrap off i'll spray this on and then i got the large version of my new favorite edge control i've talked about this 82 million times i feel like but i got the freaking big one i didn't even know this size existed because I tried, I remember it was in my weekend in my life vlog for my friend Gina's birthday when I went to Greensboro and I went to the beauty supply store there because I wanted to get it in person because I thought that I saw somebody with a bigger size but they didn't have it in stores at all and so I had to order it on Amazon and it only comes in the little one ounce sizes which is fine for travel like that's perfect for travel but I want the big size and I got a new scent the one I have is pineapple but this is sweet lychee lychee um, I have a scrub from Tree Hut that's this scent and I like it so I got this and the package is really pretty on this one so I want to smell it and see if it lives up to my expectations. It smells cute. It's nothing like too crazy. It smells good. Then I got a couple oils because I always get some oils when I go to the beauty supply store. I got peppermint oil and I got vitamin E oil. I'm going to put them in my little like squeezy bottle that I just put a bunch of concoctions of oil in. I'll probably take one on the trip with me so I can oil my scalp while I'm there. I got a new edge brush and then I got a lip gloss. Like you can't go to the beauty supply store and I get one of these 99 cent lip glosses. But this time I got the mango one. I have like the mint one, the rose one, something else, but I've never had the mango one. So I got the mango one. So that is what I got from the beauty supply. It was literally like 30 bucks. Like I got all of this for 30 bucks. So I freaking love the beauty supply store and I wish there was one closer to me, but that is everything that I got. So now it's time for me to grocery shop and that has nothing to do with this video so i'm not going to include that but i'm going to see if i can make an eyebrow appointment for tomorrow or maybe today what time is it they might have a late appointment today because i want to get my eyebrows done i didn't think i would have time today so that's why i didn't make an appointment for today but i kind of want to see if i can make an eyebrow appointment um because my eyebrows have not been waxed since august since august i've just been like randomly plucking here and there since august so i'm gonna see if they have an open spot if they have an open spot i'll go there if not i'm just gonna grocery shop and i will see you tomorrow when i do something else hey guys it is actually christmas it is let me check my phone it's 11 27 you see what i did there you see how my phone is in my hand so I'm recording on a camera. I got a camera for Christmas. This is my first time recording on it actually. So I don't really know what I'm doing. I keep looking at myself and not at the camera. So I apologize, but that's besides the point. Let's stay on topic for the video.
so i was going to schedule or try to schedule an appointment for my eyebrows because they are overgrown and nasty but they didn't have any openings um the day that i tried to which was two days ago and they didn't have any for tomorrow which was the second option so i'm gonna do it myself so i'm using the sally hansen hair remover wax strips um wow look at that wow look at the freaking quality I just wow but i'm using these sally hansen little wax strips i used these before i ever got them actually done um they're just little wax strips like this so basically what i'm gonna do is wax my eyebrows and see what i can do to clean them up a little bit i don't know how much i'm gonna be able to record considering i have to like be all up in the mirror but we're gonna try and i'm whispering because my mom is asleep right now and i don't want to wake her so what i'm gonna do is two right now and just rip it and then there's one but this is still it's like right here i don't know if you can really see the actual wax since it's clear but it's right here and i'm gonna cut it in half this way so it's thinner you just rub it between your hands to like heat the wax up and make it sticky i guess cut it and then there are these thin little wax strip situations that you can see that and then you pull it apart and it's two so let me do this and then you rip it off in the opposite direction and this might be disgusting but this is will it focus will it focus on the hair please focus on the hair oh can you see it do you see the hairs? I can't tell, I can see them. But those are the hairs, so I'm just gonna keep doing that. Okay, so now the tops of my eyebrows are all cleaned up and shaped up, so now it's time to tweeze the bottoms and I'm gonna use my little handheld mirror and pluck, so I'll speak through this. Okay, so they are done now and they look much better. I don't even know if you can like tell a difference. Nobody wanted to see this. This is so nasty and red. I look beat up. But once my skin calms down, they'll look much better. I was planning on like doing a little at home brow lamination thing because I did it in the summer. But I think the way I plucked them, the way I plucked them, I'm gonna apparently go for a, I mean, it's not like a skinny brow, but it's a skinnier brow. And if I were to do the brow elimination, I would want them to be fuller and fluffier. And I didn't really, I kind of ruined that with the waxing. If I wanted to like, I should have waxed more this way as opposed to like, you know? But since I did that, they're gonna be like skinnier and sharper, but that's fine, it's fine. So yeah, brows are done. The only thing I have left to do to truly prep for the trip is to get my gray pajama set because I never ended up going back, but I ordered one online for pickup at Target. So I'm gonna go get that tomorrow. And I was, I was, before I even like, try to film this video or like was planning on filming this video i wanted to get my lashes done for the trip but my lash girl was completely booked like three weeks before christmas and um fully booked for tomorrow i even tried to like look and see if she had one for like 8 a.m on sunday because i leave on sunday 
and I tried to like see if she had one early early in the morning so I could like pack my stuff go to my lash appointment and go straight on the trip but she was even booked then so I'm just gonna have to bring my lashes with me and whatever but I think we should be good so the only thing left that we have to do that I'll probably include is me getting my pajamas and then like packing my bag and stuff and looking for outfits so i'll see you tomorrow when i do that hey guys it is the next day i played around with the settings on the camera because i'm really trying to figure out how to make it look the best as it can before i go on this trip and try to vlog it but just got ready um didn't really do much i just put some loose in my edges and got dressed but we're about to my mom and i are about to go out and get my great pajamas because i ordered some from target last night and i was supposed to like pick them up today but but i haven't gotten an email saying that they're ready to be picked up yet so what i'm thinking happened is there was only one left in stock so i'm assuming what happened is they didn't have them anymore but i'm waiting for like the cancellation email or whatever but we're just gonna go look and see what we can find and then i'll come back and i will start packing and do a little time lapse of me packing because i have no idea what outfits i'm bringing and she said to bring that she's bringing six outfits so that's six outfits for two days two two days Today. so i have no idea what i'm wearing aside from the gray pajamas and she wants us to wear all black for dinner but other than that i have no idea what i'm bringing but i want to wear actual outfits instead of like sweatpants and hoodies because this is a trip like i'm supposed to look cute this is my excuse to wear my actual clothes as opposed to just my sweatpants and stuff so i'm gonna try to put actual thought and effort into these outfits so i'm not gonna bring my camera with me when we go to get pajamas because i'm not comfortable bringing camera in public all right so i went to target and got this pajama set they never ended up getting the set that i ordered but i'm doing a horrible job of showing but it's like a gray it was a mess it was a mess it was christmas but it's like a gray top and then some gray shorts that are matching so that's the pajama set and now i'm going to start packing all of my stuff Okay, so I just finished, I didn't pack, I didn't, I didn't pack. I packed like my makeup and hair stuff and my skincare, but I basically threw out all the clothes that I'm going to pack or I'm thinking about packing. Ooh, I need my beanie. But I basically picked out all the clothes that I think I might wear and I'm gonna go through them, make sure I can actually create outfits from them. I need this purse too. And then I'm going to pack them in my bag and pack my 
like toiletry stuff on top but i need to finish filming so i can edit it and start uploading the video tonight because as i've said like a billion thousand times in other videos it takes forever for my videos to upload at, with the wi-fi that we have at home so i need to start uploading now so it'll be done by the time i leave tomorrow because we're leaving around like 11 and usually it's uploading until like 2 right before they go live at 3 so i need to start it early so i need to start it now so i'm going to basically just pack this up but that's pretty much the end of me prepping for this trip anyway i hope you guys enjoyed it was a little sporadic and i didn't get to do everything that i wanted to do but i think i mean it's still yeah so if you did enjoy this video then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social medias down below and stay tuned for the vlog for this trip because that is coming next sunday and turn your post notifications on so you don't miss it but other than that that is the end of today's video and i hope you have a great day bye Where do my